Boker Tov everyone, Teacher Adrian here with some very, very exciting news. Yesterday was the very first day of spring! Yay, spring! It looks to me like the weather outside is sunny and cold. You can be your own weather helper today and check it out. I'll wait. What do you think? Is it sunny and cold where you are too? Are you gonna help me read a story? What do you think? It's about bunnies. Do you like to chase bunnies? That's not very polite, you know. Okay, time for a story. Today I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite books from when I was little. My mom used to read me this pretty much all the time, not just in spring. It's called Home for a Bunny. It's by Margaret Wise Brown, with pictures by Garth Williams. Now, if you remember, Margaret Wise Brown was the author of a couple of other books that we read this year, Good Night Moon and The Color Kittens. Oh my goodness, look at that. A blast from the past. Okay, home for a bunny. Spring, 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 sang the frog. Spring, sang the groundhog. Spring, 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 sang the robin. It was spring. The leaves burst out, the flowers burst out, the robins burst out of their eggs. It was spring. In the spring, a bunny came down the road. He was going to find a home of his own. A home for a bunny, a home of his own. Under a rock, under a stone, under a log or under the ground, where would a bunny find a home? Where is your home? He asked the robin. Here, 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 sang the robin. Here in this nest is my home. sang the little robins, who were about to fall out of the nest. Here is our home. Not for me, said the bunny. I would fall out of a nest. I'd fall on the ground. That's not good. So he went on looking for a home. Where is your home? He asked the frog. Wog, 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 sang the frog. Wog, 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 under the water, down in the bog. And not for me, said the bunny. Under the water, I'd drown in a bog. Yep, not for bunnies. So on he went looking for a home. Where do you live? He asked the groundhog. Well, hey, I live in a log, said the groundhog. Can I come in, said the bunny. No, you can't come in my log, said the groundhog. So the bunny went down the road. Down the road and down the road he went. He was going to find a home of his own. A home for a bunny, a home of his own. Under a rock or a log or a stone. Where would a bunny find a home? Down the road and down the road and down the road he went until he met a bunny. Where is your home? He asked the bunny. Here, said the bunny. Here is my home. Under this rock, under this stone. Down in the ground, here is my home. Can I come in, said the bunny. Yes, said the bunny. And so he did. Okay, are you ready for a very cute picture? And that was his home. This book is called Home for a Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown.
I hope you enjoyed that story. It was one of my favorites from when I was little. Keep your eyes peeled for a special Shabbat message from Aish today. Bye.